Big smiling faces. Look at that. Uh, joining us live in studio, the Iolani Girl team, senior Senna Roberts Navarro and Brooke Naniseni. Join us now along with Coach Kaino O'Bregg. Good morning. And the rest of the team as well. Uh, Coach, before we get into anything else, uh, first title since 2018. How proud are you of this team and what they were able to accomplish? Uh, just tremendously proud. I mean, they've worked very hard throughout the entire season. We have a tremendous senior group um, that just led us and, and, and helped us get on, on track and and just play at a tremendous level all season long. Okay, so let's talk to your seniors. You've got a lot of seniors yep. on this team, but at the same time, like we mentioned, first one since 2018. How great is it to bring that trophy back to campus? Um, it's really great. Um, this team has worked so hard the whole season, and it's just really cool to bring it back home. So. Yeah, you, you guys were so dominant, right? You, you swept, I think it was Kapolei, then you guys swept Mililani, then you swept Kamehameha Schools in the final. W was there a point, though, where you said, hey, we might be in some trouble here, or? Or is it just confidence all the way? I think we just put a lot of confidence in ourselves and in our coaches, and we just kept doing what we needed to do, and yeah. Yeah, so there, there was no moment. There was no moment <laughs> we had to talk to you guys. Uh, we knew that there was a lot of good competition ahead, but I think that we just kept playing with a bunch of confidence, and yeah. we knew what we could do. Well said. Uh, we also mentioned that there's so many seniors in this class, uh, both of you included. How much, how much more special did that make it? I mean, because none of you were on the team that won in 2018, right? My math is wrong. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So how, how much more special was it that it was this core group? Um, I think just having a lot of seniors on this team, everybody played like a special leadership role. So everybody contributed and I think we did a pretty good job role modeling for the underclass. Oh, heck yeah. But, yeah. but coach, at the same time, this, this cuts both ways, right? It does. So now you see all these girls go, and you got a, a new crop of young women that come in. What does the team look like in 2023? Um, well, we're celebrating this this year <laughs> first. You know, we'll, we'll take our time enjoying this moment. Uh, but next year, you know, with the great examples the seniors set for us, I, I think the underclassmen are ready to understand what it takes to get us back to that type of level. And, and we just look forward to going after and grinding it out again next year. But we're definitely going to celebrate it with this group of girls right here and, and, and coaches. And everyone's done a tremendous job all season. Is he right? Are you guys ready? You guys yeah. ready for next year? OK. They seem fun. How about this? You guys have a, a, a large amount of support. Uh, Raider Nation, right? Uh, a lot of people hear that at home. They think of something else. But Raider Nation <laughs> is for Iolani. Uh, how important has that been? How instrumental in your success? Uh, they were incredible. They did a lot of, um, they really helped us keep like the energy up in the gym. I think with volleyball, it's like, it's very up and down. So they were cheering on like when we, whether we lost the point or won. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, congratulations, guys. Thank you. Awesome to watch you guys. And we'll be looking at you guys ahead. Appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks, awesome. Thanks, awesome. Thanks, there you go. Stay tuned. <laughs> Next time they'll bring the trophy. We yes, yes, yes. We got it. It's at home. It's being on display. <laughs> All right. Congratulations.